Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to sneak peek a new diamond painting for you from Diamond Art Club. And if you guys know anything about me and my relationship with diamond painting or with Diamond Art Club, you will know that this is probably the most exciting uh, video that I've ever filmed for them because it's for a new Randall Spangler. So Randall Spangler, I will put the actual picture on the screen so you guys don't have to like squint at your screen. So Randall Spangler, these little draglings in particular are what got me into Diamond Art Club. Um, they were the first paintings that I ever saw that made me purchase something. In fact, let me pan up for you guys really quick. Um, this is my first like fully completed square painting from Diamond Art Club and it was a monster to do and I have it hanging in a place of honor above my desk. So basically having the honor of sneak peeking a Spangler for you guys is like I've peaked. Like this is it for my diamond painting YouTube career. This is as good as it's gonna get. So one, thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for finding me worthy of this. And two, let's get to this because I am beyond excited. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is actually a round one. I've been getting a lot of square spanglers recently, so this is gonna be a nice break from the super intricate square ones, but it still looks like it's gonna be just as detailed. So don't be fooled by the size of this little box. While it's not very tall, it's only 41 centimeters tall, it is 92 centimeters long. So this puppy is gonna be long. So let's get to opening this so that I can show you all of the goodies that come inside of a kit. I'm going to learn from my mistakes last time and not try to talk while I cut the plastic. Okay, we learned our lesson. I did not slice myself open. Fun, I've learned baby steps. Okay, so. So like I said, this is not the biggest box. I was actually surprised that it was such a small box for a Spangler because most Spanglers that I buy are huge. Case in point, the one that's hanging on the wall up there. So this is such a pleasant surprise. So in the kit, we have a little tool kit, which is the standard. It comes with baggies, a little tray, some wax, a squishy, and a pen. So that is your standard kit. We don't need these anymore. I have so many. So we're going to toss that aside and then get to the goods. Oh, look at it. It's so short, but it's going to be long. And then in the box, there's also the sticker and the inventory sheet. Okay. So the sticker, for those of you who are curious what you do with this, this is just a sticker you can peel off. And a lot of people stick these to the sides of their boxes. So in case you have a very large stash in like a closet somewhere, you can see what the kit is from the side. Um, I personally use these to put in my organizers because I tend to work on a lot of paintings at the same time. So I always try to put the sticker with my organizer of drills for that kit so that I know these diamonds are for this kit. Does that make sense? That's what I do with that. And then the most important piece is your inventory sheet. So the updated versions of these have little start and end date slots. It gives you the title and the artist and then the beautiful picture. Look at him eating a cookie. Oh, I'm so excited. And then this gives like your dimensions and then it's going to have A, B's in it. And then this is the piece de resistance. So these are all of your individual drill colors and wow, focus. Come on, man. They did the amazing thing recently where they uh, cut all of these stickers individually so that those of us who cut this entire sheet apart to label our organizers, you don't have to cut these anymore. They're pre-cut for you. And there's even extra slots in case you want to customize your kit. In case you didn't know, this entire sheet is one big sticker. So you can just slap this puppy wherever you want as well. Okay, enough with that stuff. Let's get to the best part of this entire unboxing. I'm so excited to see it. Let me clear some space. Okay, so. As always, it is a Diamond Art Club canvas, which means the back is all velvety and soft and it's wonderful. This is this way. So we are gonna start unrolling this way. Oh my goodness, there's one. There's the cookie and already some book spines. And then as we go, oh my God, this is so made for me. I fell in love with these dragon kits because it's always adorable little dragons and books. And usually one of them is eating cookies or chocolate or drinking tea. And it's just me. They just make me so happy. So this is the entire canvas. <gasps> I'm so excited. I feel like you guys, it's not doing it justice yet. Let me zoom in so you can see all of the detail. Okay, so we zoomed in on some book spines so that you can see what it actually looks like. So this is obviously a round canvas, so you can see where all of the individual little diamonds are gonna be placed across all of the book spines as we go. So there is actually a ton of detail in this, and I kind of like 
how simple the book spines are. It's beautiful. I like the swirls and like all of the little gems that are put in them. It's beautiful. So there we have it. I'll try and move it so there isn't so much glare. I feel like this is going to be one of those paintings that's going to be incredibly satisfying um, to do it, where like when you do each section, it's going to make it all of a sudden just like pop with so much color. I think all of the books in the back are gray tones, but I feel like that's also customizable. I feel like you could actually change the gray tone books to be whatever you want if you have extra drills. If not, stick with the drills it came with. So it looks like there's going to be 310 through here and the outlines. And look at the little drag lane. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get to the drills. So if you're not a fan of crinkly plastic sounds, I'm going to recommend muting the video until you see me stop struggling with all of these because this is always a complicated part of my videos. But for those of you who like it, here we go. This is a really long uh, strip. Like that's a long container of drills because it looks like we have a lot of big packs. That's exciting. So here are all of our drills. I didn't even look at the thing. It looks like we're going to have 134, which is like the standard AB color for the dragons. I can already see it right there. And I think that's our only AB. I might be mistaken, there might be another, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm gonna zoom in and start showing you guys all of the beautiful drills that came in this kit. Alrighty, let's kick things off with two huge pouches of 3371, which is like a really dark brown color. That's a pretty standard color in a lot of kits. Then we move over to, oh man, we're already off to a blurry start. Come on camera, let's figure things out. Okay, 647 is our next color. It's a lovely like kind of greenish gray scale color. We have 645 in that same vein. We have a lot of green. 905 is a standard dragon color. I see that one quite frequently, but I think it's also going to be in the book spine, so that's fun. Oh yeah, it for sure is. We got two of those. And then we got 904, we have 3853, we have 646, another one of those kind of like greenish gray tone ones. Oh, two of those, we got a lot of that. I'm guessing that's going in the books in the background. We have 890, a lovely forest green color. We have two of those actually, okay. And we're on to our first AB. So this is 134. This is basically the one that I always expect to get in Spangler kits. This is like the accent that they use for all of the highlights on the little draglings, which are just so cute. I love this color. It makes me so happy every time I see it. And it looks like we got a lot of it. Like that's many. And then we move on to 844. We have 648 and we have 301. On to the next strip of slightly smaller pouches. We have 814, 400, we have 976, we have 3777, oh man, lottery numbers. We have 895, a lovely greenish color. Wow, we have just a little pouch of 310. Look how refreshing that is. 310 is the standard black color and I'm used to seeing much of it, but it's nice to see a little tiny pouch of it. Um, we have a 996, we have a 355, 917, that is a bright, awesome magenta color. We have 915, a less slightly darker version of that. Ooh, that's a fun one. 907 is another standard dragon color. I love these like lime green colors. My camera doesn't though, that's for sure. And we're back. Okay. We have 3830, we have 3860, we have 995, which is a lovely blue color. We have 3843, another lovely blue color. We have 720, that is a vibrant orange. We have 815, we have 3861, we also have 779 and 712, which is like an off-white color. Okay, on to what I call the fun strip. These are all of the little tiny pouches, which are just exciting colors because that means there's not much of them. So it's always fun when you get to one of these when you're working on it. I don't know why. That might just be me. I might just be weird. But we're starting it off with 938. We have 3854. Oh, we do have a blue AB. It's 136. Look how fun that is. Where is that on the kit? I think that's actually right in this book. Um, two is what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, it's this. This whole outline of this book spine is going to be oh, this beautiful color. I'm so excited. Okay, we have 300, we have 677, we have another dragon color, 3819. This is more of a like chartreuse color. Man, my camera does not like these dragon colors, but I do, it's okay. But this is like a chartreuse color. It's usually in the highlight areas of the dragons. Uh, we have 977, we have 3846, 3772, 3778, we have 3857, 
435, we have 436 going through the DMC scale there. We have 3864, we have 3064. I just had to think about numbers for a second there. 3837, a lovely purple color, another purple color, 209. We have a 956, that's a cute little pink color. We have 208 and then 210 rounds out all of our drills. Here is the pile of drills. Here is the beautiful canvas that I cannot wait to start. I have a feeling I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do um, cookies and classics, cookies with classics. I have to think about it. There's another bookish draggling one that is long and short like this one that I feel like will go so well on the wall with this one. Like I feel like they'll just go so well together. I have so many of these and I am so incredibly grateful that Diamond Art Club chose me to reveal this one. I'm so excited and proud. Okay, that is going to be it. I will have links down in the description. Full disclaimer, those are affiliate links. I do make a very small commission fee off of those, which is much appreciated, let me tell you. But also a rep code will be down there for you. And as always with these sneak peeks, I upload these on Fridays, which means this piece will be available for you to purchase tomorrow. Tomorrow at noon if you are a Ruby or Diamond member for that half hour VIP access and at 12.30 for the rest of the peeps. Uh, this is Eastern Standard Time. I think it's 9 and 9.30 Pacific Standard Time for those of you on the West Coast. I am on the East Coast though, so those are the times that I go for. So this will be available to purchase tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. Spanglers tend to go fast, so Godspeed with the purchasing. And thank you so much again to Diamond Art Club for sending this my way. I cannot wait to start. I'm so excited. They are so cute. And that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.